Hi, good people. It's been a while, about three weeks. I just returned from a work trip yesterday. I was gone for two weeks. And of course, I had to go grocery shopping. And y'all know where I went? Trader Joe's, y'all. I think my goal in life is to make Trader Joe's believer, Trader, Trader Joe believers. Because I took some Trader Joe's products with me on the road and I made two believers. But we'll see when they go to the store, if they even go. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I already came from the gym. Y'all like my shirt? Rest in peace, B.I.G. You one of the greatest. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I got some stuff that I need to put away. And then uh, being gone for two weeks, your girl's feet looking a little rough. So I'm getting a pedicure in about an hour. All right, so let's get started. You know what? We just, y'all already know how I feel about my sunflowers. This just needs to be just like a staple. It's gonna be a staple. But fun fact, y'all know that sunflowers are my favorite flower. I'm going to the sunflowers fields this weekend and I can't wait. And I'm going back to the farmer's market because the sunflower people are there. I can't wait, y'all. But anyway, that's one bag. I got three bags. Let me go ahead and tell y'all that. I got three bags. I think my total was like $82 and like 83 cents or something like that. But we'll go ahead and get started. All right. I have not shopped for salad in a long time. This is one of my favorite salads, this broccoli and kale slaw. Y'all, mm-mm. But here's the thing, right? I didn't get a lot. Normally I get like three or four bags because I used to eat this in like a sitting. So I'm gonna split this in half and have cook some shrimp. I've been real lazy too since I've been back because I don't wanna cook shit. So I'm gonna cook some shrimp, throw this on here, um, eat half now and then eat the other half probably for dinner or tomorrow for lunch. So that's Then I got the lemony arugula basil salad kit. I've never had this, but arugula is one of my favorite greens next to spinach. Probably, they're probably tied for first. But same thing. So between these two, I got four meals because I'm gonna split these in half. I'm just gonna add a protein. It's a quick and easy dinner and I'm lazy. Oh my goodness, y'all. Berry cherry plums. I'll probably eat like five of these in the sitting. I got these last year. I went through them in like a day and I got two because I know my son is gonna like try to eat them too. So I got one. Oh wait. I got one, two packs of the berry cherry plums. Okay straight impulse. Again, I'm lazy. I'm gonna be lazy through the weekend until I get back into my routine. And I love French toast and I love brioche bread. So this is the perfect marriage. And to be honest, you know, there's four slices. I probably smashed the whole box by myself. I doubt I will. No, I'll do it. Who am I kidding? Another staple item. My son loves these. I love them. I don't eat them too much, but when I do, I probably have like two. Again, if y'all have never been to Paris, this is a close dupe for a Parisian croissant. Get it! So Violet, now my favorite employee at Trader Joe's, at the Omaha store. She had recommended this um, when we talked before, but I went with, she recommended this, but I went with this. And to be honest, I should have got two boxes because I love mochi. Fun fact, guys. I graduated high school in Hawaii. I lived there for a little bit. I lived there for four years. So I did all four years of high school. So I'm very familiar with mochi and I'm very familiar with like the cracker mochi as well too. But I never had it in ice cream at least not in Hawaii. I've had it I've had it before, just not the Trader Joe's version. Should have bought two. I feel it coming. 
already feel it coming. White rice for my son because he loves it. I love it too. Again, I'm not I'm not eating a lot of white rice right now, and I got a whole bunch of brown rice to go through as well. So there is a brown rice version of this just as good as well. This turkey right here, listen, it's pricey, y'all. Uh, it's $4.99. It is so good. It's almost like Thanksgiving turkey good. It is so just fresh and delicious, but my son eats this for lunch, and he can he can probably kill this pack by himself. Not why we're going to do that, because uh, $4.99 ain't cheap for some lunch meat. So get this, though. I highly recommend it. Two boxes of mac and cheese because I just love this mac and cheese and I just like to have these meals on hand when I don't feel like cooking. And guess what? The first bag is done. So I don't think there's much in this one. Oh, that's my mom from my protein shake. That wasn't part of the meal, or part of my purchase. Mini avocados because I got a meal prep again and I need avocados. Ah, my Chiquita sticker. Hey. Oh, that's my other one. Bananas for my oats in the AM. And I bought a pound of dark chocolate. I bought a different kind this time. But again, right, I'm, I'm in culinary school. I will be finished in September. My last class is a cake class and I have to make a cake using some chocolate. And this was good when I tempered the chocolate the last time. Guess what? That bag is done. And this is the last one. I like to have these on hand for my son, these sour cream and chive. Oh, sour cream and onion. Corn puffs, they're always good to have on hand. He loves them, I love them too. Okay, another impulse buy. Y'all know what y'all doing, Trader Joe's, leaving all the goodies um, right as you check out. These are lemon pecan wafer cookies. Can y'all see that? And it is a delicate rolled wafers filled with lemon filled cream. I love anything lemon, anything lemon. And you know, it's just, I wanted it. Okay. So this right here is a Sousa Manello. It's a wine from Puglia, Italy. And I'm very familiar with that region, and I believe that's the region near Rome. But let me take a look to make sure that I'm right. Roma, your girl good. Still got it! Anyway, um, I wanted this off a recommendation um, that I've seen before. And there is a, is it Corvella? You know what? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. This right here, y'all, this Corvella, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon, is my favorite wine from Trader Joe's, and I love a red wine. Um, dry to semi-dry. This, I don't think y'all understand. I should have got a case of this last summer when they had it, but I got like three more bottles of this left in my bar, and I was told that this is just as good too. Um, this right here, I, I'll let y'all know, but, um, you know, for $9.99, it's a decent size. 
You really can't beat it. Like, you seriously can't. All right, so I got maple syrup um, because I ran out and I need it for the French toast. And I make pancakes on occasions. I love pancakes. And I like I like to have this on hand. Not that damn, um, y'all know that regular mixed disgusting syrup uh, Aunt Jemima, I don't know if y'all, if y'all have, if y'all have that power to you, y'all just need to get the real thing. It is so much better and the taste is completely different. Just do it. Okay. Oh, onion salt because I ran out and I use this all the time to season my shrimp. I got just a case of sparkling watermelon juice. We're, a pro, uh, we're in the middle of summer-ish. I'm personally waiting till fall because that's my favorite season because Trader Joe's has the best fall, probably has the best fall seasonal items I've ever seen at any store. But this is probably um, my summer favorite seasonal item. I should've got another box whatever I got like five in the refrigerator but I got it oh I shouldn't do that I don't want I don't want to do that what else I got some lemon elderflower soda um just to change it up um and probably have with a glass of vodka just because I love vodka my name's Natasha it's Russian of course I love vodka I had this last summer too, and it's just, you know, just to break the monotony up of the sparkling watermelon juice. Um, though this is still a favorite, um, this is good as well too. And my last item is sparkling plain water. So I have this, there's a company here called Heavenly Waffles, and I bought some waffles from them, and it's, it's a yogurt-based mix, and you need any kind of carbonate, carbonated beverage to mix into your batter. So I just needed it for that. And I like sparkling water actually. So whatever I don't use for the mix, I will finish up myself. And guess what? I'm done. So yeah, my total, I had to do grocery shopping and I, I'm back from a two week trip. My total came to $82 on, I believe, 83 cents, like I said before. Um, yeah, that's it. And I do need to make a stop at Trader Joe's tomorrow because there was some ready to brew. No, not ready. Ready to drink cold brew coffee that didn't have available. And their shipment comes in tonight. So guess where I'll be tomorrow? Back at Trader Joe's because I have a problem. But you know, um... My goal in life is to be a Trader Joe's ambassador. Y'all feel me? No, it's not my goal in life. I just love the store. So I've been rambling too much. I need to put this stuff away and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.